Hi everyone, Rafael Silva here. You may know me as Carlos Reyes from 911 Lone Star on Fox, but today I'm here as part of the Latinx Heritage Month. Introducing Say What? In this special series for Fox, I'm going to break down language barriers in a rather fun way. Fun, fun way. Let's get started. Now, you may not know this, but I was actually born and raised in Brazil, and I moved to the States when I was 13. So I speak Spanish, Portuguese, and English. And today, I'm gonna to be breaking down some of the differences between these three languages. Let's start with the basics. Sounds. About 89% of both Spanish and Portuguese may be similar looking, but they often sound and mean different things. Check out my Say Like You Mean It episode for examples of different meanings. So some of the different pronunciations come with very slight spelling differences. For example, the verb of doing in Spanish is hacer. In Portuguese is fazer, right? To speak in Spanish is hablar, and in Portuguese is falar. You know, very similar, but very different at the same time. Now, there are many examples of Spanish and Portuguese phrases that don't have a literal translation to English. First, Portuguese. Let's say a friend cooks you an amazing meal. A great compliment to them would be já pode casar, which literally translates in English to you're ready to marry. But in Brazil, the sentiment is more like now that your friend can cook such delicious food, maybe they can finally land a mate. Just some good nature ribbing amongst friends. Another Portuguese example might be when you start dating someone new. There is always that friend that tags along to everywhere both of you go, and that friend never gets the hint. So one way of saying that the friend is third wheeling would be segurando vela. Get the hint, buddy. So that phrase literally translates to holding the candle. Now, I'm not saying that they're religious or even romantic. I'm just saying that they're being a third wheel. I'm basically helping them get the hint. Now, there are a lot of phrases in Spanish that are also lost in translation. Let's stick with our dating thing. If I really want to impress my date, and I mean really impress my date, I might tirar la casa por la ventana, which literally means throw the house out the window. But all I'm saying is I'll spare no expense when it comes to showing him a good time. Then if I spend all that time and energy and money and decided to ghost him, which, come on, don't ever do that, I might dar calabazas, which literally means to give pumpkins. I'm not really sure where that one came from, but I'd much rather give pumpkins than ghost somebody. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Say What, and may all the pumpkins you get are for pie making, or soup making, or carving, whichever. Just don't ghost anybody. Nos vemos! Beijos! Fui!